Welcome to Performance Reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today, I have a central vac power nozzle slash power nozzle kit. This is made by the German manufacturer Sibo. And for those of you who are not familiar with Sibo, they make commercial and heavy duty uh, vacuums. And they've recently, uh, in the past few years, gone into central vacuums. Typically, when we think of German central vacuums, we think of uh, Visselwerk. Sibo uh, is a competitor and they make everything pretty much in-house, which is kind of cool. Uh, and they're really well made. A lot of people seem to think that these are somehow better than the Visselwerk nozzle. I um, would say they're different. Uh, but they do have some features that might appeal to people who do a large volume of cleaning or for some reason need to do a lot of self-maintenance. Um, so let's take you on a tour of the nozzle. There is a release here, and you have to use this button with your hand. There's no foot pedal for that. So that's just something to keep in mind. On the back, we have a orange pedal. And you can yes, you can wheel this around if you want. And then you have a swivel neck here. So it's not a full 45 degrees. It's a little bit less uh, than some of the others, but it still maneuvers very well. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, on the front, we have an indicator light, and we have a power brush on off. And this is more of a recycle from their canisters. Yes, you will have your brush roller control as well on your hose, but there's an additional foot switch. So that's just something to be mindful of. And next you have height adjustment. Again, not a pedal, this is a knob. And you have one through four. Uh, for my carpet, I have to use the highest setting for it to work. Um, so again, something to be mindful of. Let's go to the underside because that's kind of where the cool part is with SIBO. On the underside, we have a few things. One, you see the three wheels. This is very unique and they have rubber on them. Now the axles of the wheels have a felt washer with oil on them, which kind of acts like a bearing, not only keeping it from squeaking, but it means the wheels spin for days. That also aids in its maneuverability that three wheel design. Now on the bottom here, there is no squeegee. Uh, so it doesn't seem to really affect hard floor cleaning when you have the brush off, but it is just something to be mindful of. There's no squeegee. Now you can replace the front plate and the rear plate uh, on here separately. There's also a small clean out door. So if for some reason something were to get stuck in there, you can easily get to it. Uh, and the path on this kind of goes like this. It doesn't go directly into the neck. So the neck doesn't do that annoying squeaky thing when it's in the wrong position like some older nozzles would. Now on the bottom of this, you have a button right here and that allows you to twist off the end bearing and clean in there. And if you give another half twist, the whole roller comes out. And this is kind of really unique to SIBO. I'm not sure if SIBO was the first to do this, but they are one of my favorites that does this, where the brush roller just kind of comes out real easily. And you can put it in the dishwasher if you need to clean it. You can take a knife, whatever, right there. So it makes it real user serviceable. You can see my wife's hair is tangled on there. And that just quickly inserts. So if you have a lot of pet hair, a lot of human hair, or you have an avid sewer in your home, that might be something that's important. Um, there's no reason to change the belt on this machine. It has a lifetime belt system where it's meant to last the life of the unit, so you don't need to worry about changing the belt. So that's kind of cool. I want to talk about the accessories this kit comes with. There's a couple different ones on Amazon. I'll put a link below uh, in the description box. So definitely go check that out. That's a great way to support the channel. Um, so you notice this one has the direct connect telescoping wand and it comes with a secondary wand and there's a real big reason for that. So instead of including a SIBO attachment that would just lock on and you could buy a SIBO attachment that would lock on, for some reason they have included, it's a very high quality, but it's an inch and a quarter attachment which doesn't fit on the SIBO fitting. Now. This wand really is only to use with the power head. Now, to make matters a little bit more confusing is, yeah, you can attach that directly to the hose, but 
basically your floor tool has a separate wand. Now, if you've had an Electrolux or, or a Rainbow or high-end vacuum, it's not unusual to have two wands and switch the wand out between floor, uh, floor tools, but it is just something to be mindful of. And also, usually this, the wand is used as an extension. There's no real good way for this to be used as an extension. I guess you could do that, but that's not gonna lock, so that, especially if you're trying to get really high up, might be a problem. So just keep that in mind when you are using this, that you will have to have this wand out for most of the accessories. And they give you, you know, a nice horsehair brush and upholstery tool, a nice long crevice tool. I also see a lot of the accessory kits, including this, which I really like. This is the flexible crevice tool, and this is great for getting under and around uh, appliances and in your dryer. So that's kind of nice. They're going to give you this guy, and if you're not familiar with this, what this is, let's open this up, is this is a Eureka clip-on uh, accessory caddy, but it's not gonna work really on any of these very easily because it's meant for an inch and a quarter wand. So you either have to put this up and never telescope your wand or do something silly with it. And like I said, that is to hold your accessories. And yes, I know I've put them on kind of backwards, but you get the idea what that is for. And um, again, that's kind of useless and that's why mine's been in the bag because I'm never gonna use that. Most of the time what you're gonna do with all your accessories, oops, all your accessories, you're gonna dump them in your bag, like so that it comes with, and leave them in your closet. And no problem doing that. That's perfectly fine. That's actually what I prefer to do with mine and have been doing for years uh, with my other central vacuum kit. So that's the wand situation so that you're aware of that in case you're a little confused. Welcome to the in the shop section with the SIBO ET1. As you can see, it all comes apart very, very easily. If you need to change out the motor, the belt, the pulleys, it's all right there. What's really cool about this is everything has quick disconnects on the inside. So if you need to change out the micro switch or change out the neck, it's all really serviceable. Um, in fact, it takes minutes to service one of these. And that's the appeal of this nozzle, I think. Even though it's made out of plastic, it's really high impact stuff. It's pretty tough. We've seen this stuff last over 20 years, sometimes 30 years on some of their machines. The height adjustment's very simple. Everything is just how it should and how you want it to be for a nozzle. The only thing that's of concern is there's some felt gaskets that maybe in you know 15, 20 years will dry rot. Overall, the service reputation of SIBO is second to none. We're gonna do our usual pickup test with cat litter breakfast cereal, flour, and fresh pet hair. I'm gonna put this on the highest setting uh, so that it pushes on my soft carpet here. Well, let's take a look and see what it did. Oh, no pet hair, no flower, no cat litter. It, on the edge, it did move one piece uh, of breakfast cereal. Again, not a huge deal, but that's what it did. Now, something to keep in mind, if you order this head, this is the 12 inch or 13 inch version. There's a wider version of this. If you order the wider version, make sure that your central vacuum is at least 20% oversized for your house. That way it can use that wider version as well. So just keep that in mind if you have a wider uh, version of this that you do need more power to make that work efficiently. All right, let's move on to our hard floor test. Now we're gonna put the nozzle down to its lowest setting, which is number one uh, on hard floor. And with the brush off, let's give it a try. Let's take a look here.
Well, we had a little bit of flour. Again, there's no squeegee on the bottom of this. And uh, it snow plowed one piece of cat litter. But it picked up the majority of that, pet hair, all that, no problem. Um, so again, not the best, but that has to do with there not being a squeegee on the bottom. Now, of course, if you're really concerned about cleaning on hard floor, you'll put a dedicated hard floor attachment on, which will clean everything up, no problem. I just want to briefly cover stair cleaning because some people think that they're going to stair clean with this nozzle, which has to be in the down position. Uh, like so, and it's going to fall off your stairs. The job of the power nozzle is not to stair clean. And I do want to also show one other little quirk about the nozzle. You cannot directly connect this and make that work either. So you must use the included turbo brush. As far as low places are concerned, it does very well. It's extremely flat. Uh, unfortunately, there's no light on this, so you're not going to be able to see what you're doing. Um, what I do like is the neck doesn't flop around like some vacuums, which means when you push it and pull, it stays in the same position, so it's a very predictable when it's going under something. And this L shape is really nice as well if you need to get in a corner or around something. Now, those who are familiar with Electroluxes know that the L-shaped nozzle is great because you can get around furniture really easy at a flick of a wrist. You can get in areas where you wouldn't normally get with a fully square nozzle. So it's really nice that you can get around that furniture here uh, with that L-shaped nozzle. And that third reel wheel really aids in maneuverability. I want to mention something for taller users or people who use the wand fully extended. I have it... Uh, Partially extended here, about three quarters, that's fine. But if you leave it all the way extended, for those who are tall people, you'll notice there is a little wobble. And because of how that knob works on that wheel in the front, it does give it a little bit of wobble. It's not a huge deal if you leave some slack behind it. But if for some reason you tug on the hose, it does have a tendency to fall. So keep that in mind when you're storing it. Just let it fall down to its natural position and you'll be fine. So my final thoughts on the SIBO kit is that if you are a heavy user, I would recommend this to you. One thing, again, I'm not too thrilled about because I have so many different types of flooring in my house, having to bend over and turn this knob a lot. I'm not a huge fan of that, but if you only have one type of carpet per floor, that's not an issue. Um, the other thing I don't like is that you have to operate the button lock by hand. There's no pedal. Again, that was done for durability, so I understand that. It's a really well-built nozzle, and those who are not familiar with SIBO, uh, I would highly recommend you Google them. They are a really well-known manufacturer. I have here a 20-year-old SIBO nozzle that I fixed up. You can go watch the video on this, but basically a new brush roller and a squeegee, and it was good to go. So their products are really built to last a long time. Where a lot of manufacturers who are high-end, say five, ten years, SIBO doesn't really quote a time. They just continue to make parts available and continue to uh, innovate in the floor care industry. I think the accessories this comes with are great. Um, the floor tool situation, I would prefer to have uh, a full set of SIBO branded tools because I really like their tools, but using the standard central vac tools is fine. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, including a second wand is nice. Again, I wish they would be interchangeable, but not really a huge deal um, unless you're doing a lot of above floor cleaning. So if this video helped you, definitely check out the links below. That helps the channel. If you are wanting to look at some of the other power nozzle reviews, I'll put a link here in the card. As always, hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up, and thanks for watching Performance Reviews, where we give you the review from the technician's point of view.